I had a request to do eye, a smoky eye with black, gray, and white without looking like Elvira. So this morning after I went to my bar class, I went over to Ulta and I tried to find a cute little palette that had just those colors. And everybody is making palettes with lots of colors. And I knew that I had black and white and gray here at the house. So I talked myself out of spending any money and came on home to create this look with my own stash. To begin with, I'm going to, I'm going to do my eyes first and then I'll do the skin. I'm going to use the, how about, where's that Clinique? That was, a, that was a good eyeshadow base. Okay. Well, I've lost it. So I'm going to use this collection because I can't find what I did with the with the Clinique that I used in the last one. I have a little bit of mascara and some individual lashes on my eyes left over from a previous look. I'll bring y'all in. I'm going to use this IT brush made for Ulta. I'm going to use it. It's a blender. I'm going to use it to blend that in. I'm going to take a little bit underneath. I always take shadow under there. So I'm going to need a little primer under there too. All right. I just don't know what happens. I guess some of my stuff ends up out by my computer after I do a look because I want to see the exact name to do the links. So that's probably where that got to. The Clinique Beyond Perfecting. There it is, found it. It's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super, Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer, just like I said. All right. Now I'm going to take this Smashbox Smoke Box. There's the colors. There's a black. There's a gray. It looks green in the viewfinder. Um, that one. That one reflects gold, so I'm going to avoid it. And that one's white enough. So those are the colors I'm going to use. I'm going to begin with the gray. I'm going to use a flat brush. It's probably a concealer brush. I'm going to use that to pat the, the gray on first. And I'm going to start up here at my crease. And drag it down to my lashes. That way it's a little darker in the crease than in the lashes. These are gonna all be matte colors. And I'm dragging it up a little bit on the outside like this. So, so far this is just the gray. Now I'm going to work on the other side. I'm going to tap it off so I don't have a lot of fallout to clean up. I'm putting it in the crease and dragging it down to my lashes. That way it's not too dark. It's not too dark in the crease, I mean, on the lid lid. And I have the option to 
go in a different direction there if I should choose. Bring it up on the corner. Like that. I'm going to take the edge of this and bring it underneath. Alright, for the lid lid, I'm going to take this flat brush again and I'm going to take some of the white and pat it in the center. Brighten that up some. And this is a matte color too. And I'm going to take some of that matte, lighter color, white, creamy color, put it there. And I strongly urge you to stay away from a eyeshadow primer that is got yellow in it. Because it will make your, brown, your black look green. Okay, I'm going to take my bronzer brush that I usually use and run it along the edge of that. Like that. I'm going to take some black This is the brush that comes in the Maybelline Studio Eye Cream Eyeliner that comes in a pot. I love these little brushes. That's where I took the black. And you can, I'm going to drag it up a little bit. All right, now, let's put some, I have some Sigma I guess it's a dip brow. It's about a brow pomade by Sigma. I have that in my eyebrows now. Left over from a previous look. Alright. I'm going to take a blender brush and blend this up like that. And blend it underneath. All right, I'm gonna take a brownish color and blend that underneath. And then I'm going to take my blending brush and blend again. All right, let's move on to the face so that I can see what needs to be done to the rest of my, to my eyes. My sponge is still a little damp from earlier today. So I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to go in without primer. And this is the MAC. This is the MAC face and body.
Okay. Um, it could be that I didn't put a primer on, but I feel like I'm having a hard time blending. So I'm going to take a dual fiber brush and give this a little blend. Something is shedding on me. This is dual fiber brush from MAC. It's one of the short ones. It's 187. And now I'm going to do uh, my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind underneath my eye. down the center of my nose. Then I'm going to take my F64 and blend that. Shape those outside corners so they Bring my eyes up. And let's put a, I'm going to use my Sigma Sculpt Palette. And I'm going to sculpt out my face. I'm going to use hollow here. You'll have, oh, and the reason for the hair being stupid is because I just got back from bar class. And again, I felt like if I went to a lot of trouble to get perfect hair for this, I would never get around to it. I have to admit that I'm low-ish on energy after I go do a hard class like that. Okay, and I'm use, still using hollow and I'm contouring my nose. Contouring my lips. I don't see the brow pomade. Oh, there it is, right here from Sigma. And this is a angled brow. It's an E75. I'm just going to fill in in some places where. When I took my makeup off, I got my brow a little bit. I'm using a really light stroke. Fill in a little gap right there. I'm barely touching my skin with this. There. And it holds up very well to sweating and water. All right, the camera cooled off, and while you were gone, I put on, found it, no. Uh, I put on a little bit more mascara. All right. 
let's glue these brows up. I'm going to use the, let's use the Sigma in the clear brow gel from Sigma. I'm going to let, this formula is a little bit wet, but that's okay. It still works. I just let it dry a little bit before I go in with my last bit of zhuzhing. Okay. So we have some contour going on. I'm going to put some bronzing on. It's throw shade is the color. And then I'm going to do the highlighting and I'm going to use my high cheekbone highlight brush. It's the F03 from Sigma and I'm going to use the color Poppin. It's a it's kind of a pinky nude. I'll show it to you. It's this one. And then I'm going to use Shine On, which is the lightest one in there, on the end of my nose. And a little bit under the brow. Now, I'm going to go back to the eyes now that I've got the rest of my face on. And I'm going to take this brush from Maybelline. It comes in the little Studio Oz kit. The gel liner and the brush come together. And I'm going to stamp that along my lashes. I want a soft soft eye, soft liner. Okay, now that this gel in my eyebrows is a little drier, I'm going to push those brows up like that. And I've decided to move over to the Viseart Bridal Palette and use the silver in that for the center of my eyes. Don't forget the bronzy color underneath the, under the black on the bottom lash line. That adds a little something, a little something, something, and then a little blendy. And then I'm going to take the La Prairie. And I'm going to set those under eyes, which further diffuses the under eye sh shadow that I put under there.
Now, for my blush, I'm going to use a real nude looking blush. And this one is called Corderosa. And it's from Sigma. It looks like that. And I'm going to use a blush brush. This one happens to be from, from MAC. I'm running it on the outside of my, the corner of my eye like that. It's such an it's such a nudie color that you can go ahead and carry it to other places on your face. All right, for the lips, I'm going to use I have to go get a lip liner. I never did go by Whirl. I'm going to use the color Sheer Natural from I'm going to use the color Sheer Natural from Lancome. One of my brushes is shedding. It's embarrassing. I think it's the MAC brush. Sheer Natural is the name of this liner. And since I own it, it's probably discontinued. I wanted to go get the Whirl. Dang, and I forgot that while I was at Ulta today. Okay, and then I'm going to use, this is going to be a surprise, Revlon Matte, this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, and I think it is Seduction. And it smells like cough medicine. That was an awesome pairing, right? All right, let's blend this a little bit. Since this eye is a little bolder than usual, I feel like it's necessary to make sure the face looks as clean as possible. So I'm going to go back with the La Prairie loose powder. And do like that. And there is it doesn't look the same. It doesn't look equally distant. So, so there's your black, gray, and white eye look. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and let me know what makeup look you'd like to see next.